Hello everyone, welcome back to Good Draw Tips and in this video I am going to talk about how to fix Farming Simulator 25 is having an issue with crashing or it is not launching or won't launch Freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck or loading screen and even many more issues such as you know it is having uh, you know completely freezing, stuttering, lagging, black screen issue and all these can be fixed So let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about we have to do a restart on your system so just close the game and go back over here go to this this icon and go for restart once the restart is done just launch the game once again and you have to check whether that's going to fix the issue or not next one is all about we have to go to the next one that is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder not from the steam so we most probably launch the game from here so that is even some cases as an issue. So we have to launch the game from the installation folder. We have two methods. First one, just go over here, right click, go to the properties, install it file, click on browse. That will take you to the installation folder. If you check at the top, this PC, local C, program file x86, steam, steam amps, common, farming simulator 25. So this is the folder. Now from here, we have to launch the game. So try launch the game from here and that's going to work for you as well. So this is the application and you can try launch the game from here as well. So if that is not the case, just close everything. You can also navigate to the installation folder without shortcut. Just go to this PC, go to uh, over here. You have to navigate to local C, go to the program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam Amps, go to Common. Now from here scroll down and navigate to farming simulator 25 and we have to launch the game from here that is also fine you can also try launch the game from here as well so both the steps are fine you can either try over there or you can try from here close this and we have to move to the next step next step is all about we have to make sure that we have to launch the game or hit the play button and you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard this is going to fix the issue such as not launching or won't launch you can try this i'm not sure about it but even i found it from the reddit even in the quora and other community platform for some users this did help it so i'm just adding this up or else if it's not working let's move to the next step that is all about we have to delete the saved game file just go over here in the file explorer navigate to the documents so whenever you are trying to save the game you will be having the folder here for the farming simulator 25 so you have to delete the respective folder and when you delete it, you will be losing all the progressions of the game. But even though that is fine, you will be delete, you will be losing all the progressions. But even though that is fine, because that's definitely going to help you guys out. Once afterwards, just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to allow the game to Windows security. That is, we have to go over here, search for the control panel. We have to search for the control panel. Just go over here. And we have to go to the system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow and app or feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and navigate to farming simulator 25 so just scrolling down and over here you can see the farming simulator 25 make sure the private and public both are marked which is a very important step and if it's not added just click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse navigate to this pc go to local disc c Go to program file x86, go for steam, navigate to steam amps, go to common, from here navigate to farming simulator 25 and we have to go over here and select this one and we have to open and we have to add it. So I'm getting the error because the exception is already added. So once everything is done, just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to Perform a clean boot. That's a very important one. So just go over here, search for system configuration, navigate to the services, go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. They're going to ask you restart, but you have to go for exit without restart. That's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we have to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of peripherals. We might be connected with you know, external devices such as you might be connected with, uh, you know, any other joysticks, any other peripherals might be connected. So just unplug everything. Once everything is unplugged, you have to connect it back and try continue playing the game. And that's going to work for you as well. 
next one is all about we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties so as you can see enable the steam overlay while in the game is turn it on just turn this off and we have to try launch the game this even worked in most cases for many of the users so once you can try this out if that is not the case we have to move to the next one that we have to give the commands in the launch option so the first command is we have to give dx11 is the first command let me give dx11 that is we have to give dx11 if dx11 is not working we have to go for dx12 so either you have to try with dx11 or you have to try with dx12 any one of the things will be working or you can try with d3 d2 you have to try with d3 d2 if dx11 and dx12 both the credentials are not working you can navigate to d3 d2 if d3 d2 is not working just remove everything from here once everything is removed just keep this nil and you have to go back and move to the next step next step is all about we have to close all the overlay application so we just need to go over here right click over here and navigate to the task manager and right now we have to go over here and if you find for the farming simulator and if you're able to find the farming simulator not the farming simulator if you're able to find overclocking and overlaying application for example uh, Riva tuner I may say afterburner and all those things if you find this here just remove it that's very important sir just remove everything and once everything is removed once afterwards just close this and we have to move to the next step next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game or dedicate a graphics card so that's an important step so just go over here search for graphics settings so just search for the graphics settings like this we'll be getting this select this one and we have to go over here and as you can see here I have already added many games as you can see I have already added many games so in the same way we have to add it so over here you can see Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is added in the same way we have to add it so just click on the add desktop app so just click on this one and that's going to take you to this you have to navigate to local disk C navigate to program file x86 go to steam navigate to steam apps navigate to common and from here navigate to farming simulator 25 now from here we have to go over here select this one and go for add so right now as you can see if you scroll down you will be able to see farming simulator over here so this is the farming simulator so select this one and right now as you can see the gpu performance is being set into let windows decide so you have to change this to high performance which is for nvidia geoforce rtx 2080 with max Q's design select this one and once afterwards you have to close this and you have to go back to the game and try continue playing the game this is a very important step or if you keep it on the let windows society you might even have the issue for uh, launching crashing and all those things so change this one to this particular one that's all we have to do moving to the next one is all about we have to increase the virtual memory which is a very important step so just go over here search for view advanced system settings so just, just select this one and we have to go to the advanced go for settings go to the advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and make sure that you have selected the local disk where the game is installed go for the custom size we have to give the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the rotal ram and we have to give the value for the maximum size that is 3 times the rotal ram so just go over here we have to navigate to the calculator so first we have to type the initial size so initial size is multiply 32 gb multiplied with 1024 okay so this 1024 is actually a constant value just type your ram and multiply your ram with 1024 and now you'll be getting a value like this now you have to multiply this particular value into 1.5 because initial size is 1.5 times the total ram so just multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 so just copy this particular value and we have to paste it next one is maximum size that is you have to type your ram 32 gb in my case it is 32 gb so if the users are watching this if, if your ram is around 4 gb type 4 if it is 8 type 8 if it is 16 type 16 and multiplied with 1024 now that will bring you this particular value but the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so multiply it with 3 that brings you 98 304 so just copy this and we have to paste it just paste it and once this value has been set just paste ok and once everything has been set just close this and we have to try launching the game 
next one is all about we have to move to the next one that we have to update windows or make sure the windows is up to date so just go over here in the settings navigate to windows update make sure the windows is up to date so right now as you can see there is updates available to install so there is update so i have to install it so uh, if you're having any kind of family uh, you know uh, pending updates and cumulative updates and all just update your windows and make sure it is done once afterwards just try these kind of games that will be working fine as well and moving to the next one is all about we have to update the graphics card which is a very important step because for any of these kind of games we should be having a good graphics card or the graphics card should be updated so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to the nvidia if the users the, the users who are on the nvidia can go to this particular page and if you're on the amd just navigate to this particular page okay so uh, i'm gonna go over here and over here you have to select the, what is your type so actually the minus geoforce and i have to select which one is mine so mine is it is around uh, minus it is uh, this one minus 20 cds so i have to select 20 cds and i have to go over here and that is this is geoforce rtx 2080 is mine so i have to select this particular one okay this is mine and i have to select the operating system so mine is windows 11 if you're on windows 10 you have to select windows 10 but mine is on windows 11 select everything and go for start search and right now as you can see once you go over here we'll be getting these options so these are some of the latest released one. So uh, this particular version is on 12 November 2024, which is one day back, which is around 566.14. So I have to download this one and install. And also if you're on the AMD, just go over here. If you're on the AMD, just select graphics, select which one is yours. If it is on RD on RX, you can select RD on RX. If any one of you can select the respective one. Go for this one, I'm randomly selecting one and go for submit. So if the system is based on Windows 11, you can download this one. If the system is based on Windows 10, you can download this one based on the 64-bit edition. And also you have to go to the Microsoft Visual C++, that's a very important one. So just search for the Microsoft Visual C++. So just go over here. And also you can try downloading and installing. I'll be providing a link in the description. So if the system is based on x64, you can download this one. If your system is based on x86, we can download this one. Download and install, that's going to work for you guys as well. So once that is also done, we have to, once that particular one is also done, we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about, we have two important steps. After trying all these steps, still if you have trouble with this particular issue, the one is you need to uninstall and reinstall the game. If you're uninstalling the game, just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall the game. So the game will be uninstalled from local history from which you already installed. But when you're reinstalling it back, you should not be installing it back on the same local disk on which you uninstall. You have to try a new local disk. That's what you have to do. And also last and the least step is all about we have to verify integrity of game file because if any files are corrupted, you will be having a lot of issue. So just go over here, go to the properties. Go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so which is going to take a lot of time so this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so just wait this to reach 100 percentage and i'll be showing you what you have to do next
So as you can see, this much wires are successfully validated and there is no issue with it. So if any files are corrupted, just fix it and you will be able to find uh, play the game. So these are the possible workarounds and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.